Well, we've been seeing the pictures of the last of Frey eruption over the weekend, and the ash cloud continues to affect not only St. Vincent, but Barbados as well. And uh, just taking a look at the latest situation, the continuous ash aloft uh, is still coming across uh, the islands there. And uh, there is an ash cloud which is located about 600 kilometers southeast of the summit. Now, Trinidad and Tobago has a low potential currently of experiencing any volcanic ash, says the Meteorological Service. But obviously for St. Vincent and Barbados, they'll continue to see ongoing ash fall over the next uh, couple of days. Meanwhile, for us here in Trinidad and Tobago, we have a moderate concentration of Saharan dust around, so take care. And also, in between, we'll see a few showers. So gusty winds, street flooding, maybe some flash flooding are likely in some of those heavier showers. So let's look then at the forecast across the Trinidad and Tobago tonight. It will be partly cloudy, especially across parts of the Tobago, also hazy at times. But as you go through the day, notice that the heat will build and you'll likely see one or two showers coming through, particularly along the southern part of the Tobago. And again, there's a low chance of a heavier shower. For Trinidad, we're also looking at a partly clear sky, especially towards the north. Hazy at times as you start your day. That haze will be continuous as we go through the day. But in between, there will be some showers around. One or two of those showers could be on the heavy or even thundery side. And that's why there's a possibility of a street or flash flooding, as well as gusty winds in those downpours, as well as the odd thunder shower, especially favoring the western part of Trinidad. So tonight's low then, 23 degrees Celsius expected at Piarco, 24 at Crown Point, 31 degrees Celsius tomorrow's high. Now temperatures will remain quite comfortable throughout the rest of this week. Through Wednesday, maybe a bit more cloudiness, especially for Trinidad and Tobago. Additional cloudiness and some showers are therefore possible, and we'll also see a couple of brief showers to the end of the week. For fish folk and mariners, nothing much is happening. A slight chop offshore, 1.5 meters, with the northerly swells coming in at 12 seconds. And uh, those are east to southeasterly winds will continue to be moderate at 10 to 50 knots. But rather calm conditions are expected around the Gulf of Paria. So that's your forecast, and that's it from me.